In today's video, we will be exploring the path in downtown Toronto, and we will be attempting to make it all the way from Union Station to Young Dundas Square without getting lost. The path holds the world record for largest underground shopping center in the whole world according to Guinness Book of World Records. Let's go explore the path. We are officially lost in the path. Ugh. So before we can go and explore the path, there's two things we need to do. Number one, make and enjoy our coffee. And number two, head to the GO train so we can head downtown. So we have now entered the path and we're gonna see if we can make it from here all the way to Young and Dundas Square. It's gonna be challenging and difficult, but I think we can do it. Every time in the past when I've done this on the path, I've always gotten lost, so <laughs> it's gonna be real interesting. the map let's see it's showing we are here and we need to get up here so before I made this video I did some research on YouTube and it's been a while since someone's actually made a good path video in other videos I've seen people have been stopped by security guards telling them they can't film inside the path so I'm trying to be super stealthy because I don't want to get caught and have this video ruined but just so you know Apparently you're not allowed to film in the path without a permit, but that was a video I saw on YouTube from like seven, eight years ago. So we'll see what happens. Should be interesting. If I get caught, I guess I'm going to have to end the video there, but hopefully not. So let's just keep exploring the path and try to get to Young Dundas Square. Right now a lot of these shops are closed because it is a Saturday. So that's why I choose to do this video on a Saturday too because of the security reasons. So we're now entering First Canadian Place. And I already feel like I'm lost. I hope I'm heading in the right direction of Young and Dundas. So the sign up there says it's 13 minutes at Young Dundas Square. And you have to go in this, this direction over here. A little information about the path. It is about 20 miles big, like 20 miles long, or 30 kilometers. The path is actually considered North America's largest underground walkway. So it is pretty big, pretty dense, and it's pretty hard to find your way around here sometimes. They say there's an app you can download, but I heard that's complicated too. 
And I also heard the color coding in the letters, like blue means north, red means south. There's different ways you can study it that way. I don't know how accurate and reliable it is. I just saw that on a video. Okay, so we made it to Scotia Plaza now. Okay, so a little update now on the map. It's showing we are here, the Bank of Nova Scotia Tower, and we gotta still make it all the way up there. Should be about a 10 minute walk still. King Street West Commerce Court. We made it to our next stop. So above all these stores and shops are office towers. So the whole idea of the path is all these office towers are connected and the workers that work in this office tower can come down and get lunch during the week in one of these restaurants. Because most of the places in the path are restaurants, there's some barber shops, you know, corner stores, drug stores, stuff like that. So it's really handy to the employees that work above in the offices. Just to give you a little bit more context, in the path you can find lots of fast casual lunch spots as well as doctor's offices and dentists and we can also find a lot of pharmacies like Rexall and Shoppers and including beer stores, LCBOs, liquor stores and tons of banks and ATMs you can find in the path and you can also find full size grocery stores and also who can forget the clothing shops those are all over. I'm at this point with this compass and I am already lost. I mean, I was gonna walk this way, but it says that way over here takes you back to Union Station. The Union Station was where we just came from. So there is another stop over here. And it says King Subway Station. So I'm gonna guess that is the way the Onion Dundas. So we're gonna take this little route over here, this little path. Hopefully we're heading in the right direction. Oh no, this way as leads to the subway station doesn't extend anything above the subway station. So we are officially lost in the path. Ugh. So looking at the map here, it looks like we actually got to go back to the Royal Bank building. So, oh, let's head back. Let's head back that way. I knew this would be uh, an adventure. So this is actually where we want to go, the Royal Bank building. This is where we should have went the first time. It looks like this entrance is closed, so we're going to have to find another way. Just entered the Bay Adelaide Center. I hope I'm going the, the right way. According to the signs, it says this way is the Young and Dundas Square. But once I walked over and entered the building, there was no signs about Young and Dundas Square. So, oh, I don't know. Right here is just some escalator up. So. I was starting to get really frustrated with the path. I was walking around in circles, and I was about to throw in the towel. But luckily, I found this little hallway and I followed it all the way through. And before you know it, I was right in the Hudson Bay Company. Okay, so we just made it through the Hudson Bay. And now we're going down the, the path. Hopefully this is taking us in the right direction. So I have to go back through Hudson Bay and go to the Eden Center, walk across that, go to where the subway is and go around to get the Young and Dundas. So I'm going back to Hudson Bay now. Okay, let's hope this is it.
Wow, look at that, we made it. Young Dundas Square. That was so challenging. Ooh, but fun. I think it was worth the reward for this view. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun doing it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, Dund Young Dundas Square. One of the best places in the world. See you next time.